Before you jump into getting a contractor or going to hire a staff member, here are a few key tips that you can utilize to really see whereabouts in the business that you need the help and actually what is the time that it's going to require to do it. Now the two things that I can't live in my business without, uh, well maybe it's three, but the pen and paper, classic, get your ideas down in pen and paper, and the spreadsheet. Now those two things are really gonna give you the eye opener to, as, to what it is that you're going to need in your business. So you wanna start making a really detailed list of all of the aspects of the business that you're wanting to outsource and make sure that they make sense for one single person to do. Now the way that I do this is by creating a spreadsheet and literally listing off all of the tasks and then putting beside it in the next column a description of the type of person or the type of contractor that I might be able to utilize in order to complete that task. Now what you want to do is over the next two to three weeks, so give yourself that time before you jump into getting someone on board. If you're making a really fast, quick hire, it's usually because you're in a state of flux and have not actually thought through the process of what you need. But as you go over the next two to three weeks, and you can split it off into various columns, is that you want to keep note and keep track of how many minutes that it takes for you to complete each one of those tasks. And when you complete that task, you can also start adding in notes about what that person would need access to, what are the platforms that you'd need to give them access to in order for them to be able to actually do that task. Now in that process as well, it's going to get you to really start thinking about the type of person that you'd want to do it. You know, as for an example, if they're going to need to have access to the back end of your website or perhaps into your payment gateways, you've got to really make sure that you're getting a person that's at the right level, not only for their skills, but also trust levels in order for you to be able to assign that task. Now, if you're creating an extra step for that person to complete the task, so what I mean by that is, let's say you're wanting to fill the dots a bit on your database about perhaps who that person is, uh, where they are on social and what that looks like. What you've got to remember is that if you're collating all of that information into a separate spreadsheet, how easily are you able to then able to transfer that information back into your main database? Because if you're having to do a lot of double handling, I can guarantee you that some of those tasks may end up taking you longer than you want them to because you're having to implement that extra step. So make sure that you've got that list, keep jotting down as you go about all of the things that you could possibly outsource and the times and the type of person and slowly but surely by the end of that three weeks, you'll be able to really have a good look at the type of person you may need in your business and realistically how many hours hours that you're going to need them there so that you're not advertising for a, a role that's above and beyond what you need right now in your business.